Yeah, we we'll give you a quick setup view of how the auto star works to give you a clue. We're going to put it in the home position again. We have the uh, side of it facing west, and then we'll level it here with our little bu bubbler here. And we have it pointing north as far as the uh, close enough. Anyway, it's pointing north with the compass. Next, we turn on the Auto Star system. We have it plugged in the HBX position. And get this up here. Let's see. There's a little switch here. Here we go. A little switch on there turns it on, and you'll get a reading. And it says, Welcome to Auto Star. Press zero to align or mode for menu. So we're going to align it, so we'll do zero. Zero's down there. And then you have to put today's date. Today's actually the 29th. 28th, I think. We'll put, anyway, we'll, we'll place a date in here. We'll put 28 here. Just for practical purposes. And of course, we got September 2011. That's our current date. We push enter. Now we need the time. The time actually is uh, 1028. You can check it with your uh, cell phone too. But we're going to put uh, 1028 here. So we hit the 1, 0, 2, 8, and we got 10, and it is PM, so that's correct. So we'll leave that alone. Enter. And daylight saving time, yes. Currently in daylight so Two north, we're going to do the uh, compass, so we'll put in number two. Now it tells you to put it in. Oh, yes, we have to take these. Uh, we've got our set in the home position already. And uh, you'll see another video I made that shows you how to do that. We have to tighten this little lever in the center. Otherwise, things just won't function. And also, we have to fight, tighten up the uh, side declination here. Okay. Otherwise, it won't track. So, we'll put enter there. It's going to select a star. All I did was push enter. And it's going to go, it's going to go to Vega. It should end up pointing uh, to my left a little bit. It's going to Vega. Watch it, it'll keep going. It's going to go a little more to the left. <clears throat> going out on my right because I'm behind it. It's going to actually be right up over here. It's at this time of the night because I'm quite aware where it's at. Now, because we're using compass heading, it's probably going to be off a bit. And what we're going to have to do when this stops is we'll uh, line it up with the finder. Finder is a course view. We're going to line it up with that. Now it's slowing, what they call slowing. It doesn't quite stop. Don't do anything until you hear a beep. And uh, it won't quite be in the eyepiece, not likely. It's more, each time mine were out, they're a little to the left. So I'm going to pretend that's what it is. You're going to see it in probably in the bottom or left of the eyepiece of the finder. So you simply push your control here and move it a little to the left and then up. And it should pop into view. At least that's the way it worked last night for me. Okay, once you have it centered in your eyepiece here, uh, we push enter. And it'll select another star. It's going to alter. That's another bright star. It's going to make a two star position. I'll have to do this at dusk sometimes so you can actually see it work. Yeah, that's about where alter would be. I can tell even being inside. 
Now it's slewing, so you don't do anything until it beeps. Altair would be the brightest star in that field, so you won't have to worry about even knowing what it is. It'll be definitely, and you'll see it on the edge of the finder, or if you're lucky, just off the, the eyepiece. Again, I'm going to assume it's over to the left, so that's what happened last night, so I'm going to move it to the left. And maybe have to go up or down. Then once we have it in there, we press enter. And it's aligned successfully. Okay, now remember we did a couple of settings, so things are not exactly precise. Now, uh, zero for tour. Oh yeah, we want to do the tour. So we hit the zero button. It'll pick out the brightest objects of tonight's best uh, objects to see. So I'll push enter. Oh, it's searching. Oh, it's Jupiter. So it's going to go over here to the left. So we'll push enter. Oh no, you push go to, I'm sorry. Well, we're not there yet. It's telling us about the planet. So we didn't go there yet. Yeah, once you press uh, the enter button, it'll tell you what it's, uh, the object is that you're looking at. That's quite a feature. Well, we can hear a little bit about it. It's the king of planets. Okay, Jupiter is slowing over to Jupiter. Telling us about it, even though we're not quite there. We'll do one more object, and then you get an idea of what's going on. Now again, it's going to be on the edge of the eyepiece because we used a couple setting. Okay, wait till it beeps. You'll see a couple of very dark lines in it, even if Jupiter's low, which it is. You can tell Jupiter's not very high off the horizon. It hasn't beeped yet. It's going to beep shortly. There it beeps. See, now it's locked in. Again, I probably have to go up or down or left or right just a little bit to get it into view. You'll see it in the finder without any problem. Zero it in there. And you enter it. That means you found it. Now, we'll go to the next one. I was telling about what it is. Okay. Often hailed as the king of the planets, it is so yeah, I gotta remember how to get to the next one. A planet, Jupiter, Analysis. Location. Uh, tonight's best. Ah, okay, the next one's gonna be. I pushed the button down here. Next one's gonna be Andromeda. And that's a galaxy. We're just gonna do two to give an idea how things work. It's gonna be up much higher. You'll see the central core. You won't see the outer extremities of the... Uh, uh, now, it's still talking about Jupiter. Wait until it beeps. I pushed down too soon. It's still slowing. There, it beeps. Now, it'll tell you about it. Andromeda Galaxy. So we're looking at that. More than likely, mine was a little bit to the top off the edge, so we'll remove it, and it should pop right into view, and you'll see Andromeda Galaxy, our neighboring galaxy. So that's how easy it is, it's a beautiful thing. But to find objects for you, you have to be in a fairly dark sky, and uh, so that's how it works.